So DeepSeek right here cannot directly generate out an Excel sheet. But what you can actually do is utilize this trick to uh, generate an Excel sheet from DeepSeek. So I'm just going to go around and say, make a table of 10 fruits uh, with its nutritional values right here, just like this. And I'm going to say, keep the first column as SN, second column as name, uh, third column as uh, nutrients right here, just like this, and fourth column as colors right here, just like this. So now what I can actually go around and see is uh, write uh, a visual basic code uh, that I can run in Microsoft Excel for this. Uh, that write a visual basic code that I can run in Microsoft Excel for this as a module so that this table is generated just like this. So now I can simply go ahead and do that. And I, I can also say, make sure to utilize different font styles and cell colors to make the table interesting as well. So once I go ahead and type in this prompt, I can simply go around and hit the send button. So this is the important bit right here, write a Visual Basic code that I can run in Microsoft Excel as a module. So if I were to go ahead and do that, then what happens is that it'll simply start writing the Visual Basic code like this, as you can see. So you can see that it started defining out the uh, fonts right here, the colors as you can see right here, just like this as well. So you just need to go ahead and let this generate out. So you need to go ahead and wait as you can see. So this is what you have as you can see right here. So you just need to wait for a bit until the code is complete. And you can see that it is defining all the colors of the cell and so forth right here. So you can see that this is what you have. It is adding some borders over here as well. And then that is what you have. So now you can see that this is the end of the code. So now you can simply go ahead and copy this code by clicking on the copy button. And then if I were to go, go around onto the Excel sheet right here, you can go around onto the developer mode tab. If you don't see the developer mode tab already, you need to right click on the ribbon area and then go to customize the ribbon. And then you can enable and disable the developer mode right here. So you need to check and enable this and press OK. And then this is what you have. So now you can go ahead on to the Visual Basic section right here from the developer mode and then go ahead on to insert and then go to module just like this and paste this code out right here. So once you go ahead and do that and hit the mm -hmm. run button, there's a syntax error actually right here. So I'm just going to go around and say this code is not running. It says syntax error right here, just like this. So if I were to go ahead and do that, then it'll correct out the code for me right here. So it says apology for the confusion earlier. Let me provide the correct code. So let me just go around and skip to the part where the corrected code is actually uh, finished. So over here, you can see that I have this code. So let me just go ahead and copy this and then open up Excel right here. So now I'm going to go ahead onto the Visual Basic again, and then I have my mm. developer window opened up. So let me just replace this and hit the Run mm. button right here. And now you can see that the table is actually generated successfully right here. If I were to go ahead and close it, now you can see with the corrected code right here, sometimes um, DeepSeek does make an error. So you can see that there's the table right here with the different colors of cells and then the uh, uh, different font sizes as well as I asked. And that is how you can go ahead and generate out Excel seats inside of DeepSeek. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.